some of these teams, and you know, we actually know the dads of the kids who are playing, and that uh, you know reminds us of uh, you know why basketball is such a great sport because it uh, passes on from generation to generation. So there's a couple things before we have you advance here. I want to just point out. Uh, first of all, very unique that your home state of Hawaii is in the tournament in both the men's and women's. Uh, and so you did at least advance them one round. I did. I, I, like, I didn't want to get carried away. <laughs> yes. But uh, that is a homer pick, although uh, if they get hot uh, shooting threes, uh, that's a possible upset. Yeah, certainly they've had a great year winning the Big West. Uh, down below here, I remember when Shaka Smart was at VCU, you were high on Shaka. Love, love that guy. And so now he's at Texas, you have them at least of a possible upset, but you don't allow Northern Iowa to advance. This was a tough call. This I consider to be the uh, weakest uh, end of the bracket and probably gave me the most trouble. Uh, I love Shaka Smart. I think he's putting together a great program, but as you can see, uh, I like the fact that A&M has a lot of seniors. There's a maturity uh, to these teams and that uh, you know, we've seen before. And you know, in, a, in a tense tournament situation like that, uh, I like the idea of having uh, a lot of veterans on the team. Now, one thing on this other side here, uh, the Pitt-Wisconsin game. Uh, coaching change, Bo Ryan out, Greg Gard in. Wisconsin, um, you know, great story this season. Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, big Wisconsin fan, but look, you have them staying with her, you know, losing that first game. I am happy for Speaker Ryan if Wisconsin wins, uh, but uh, among the potential upsets, this is one that I think uh, could, uh, could pan out.